Okay, this is chapter 32 now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hold on a second. I told you. I, no ICP for now. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Don't take my burger. Don't take my fries. Don't take my girl. Just take these dope-ass rhymes. <laughs> I can never get over that. Alright. Author's note. This is going to be an interesting arc, since Mother 3 wasn't re released in America. Hopefully, I know what kind of plot is the story following. Expect to see Lucas, Kumatora, Duster, and of course, Boney, in the crazy world of Nowhere Island as our heroes travel to protect the people of the island from the Primids and Pig Mask Army. And read, enjoy, and review, please. Chapter 32 is alternately called The Odd World of Nowhere Island and Oddness Comes in the drop-down box. Subspace, deep inside the Great Maze. It seems they fell for our trap, Lord Tabu. The... the dark... the dark... Because it's spelled D-A-R-H. The dark hooded figure said to Tabu. I can't believe I didn't thought about this before. Creating the biggest subspace bomb of all. But making it takes so much time to create. The dark hooded person pointed at himself with his thumb. Now what should I do now? Drop a few more subspace bombs in another pathetic world? You may do that now. Go to the next world. But I warning you, don't underestimate them even a little, or else you shall suffer the consequences. Ha! I want to see them trying it. The dark hooded person ran away at high speed. Lord Tabu, I think he is not a good puppet for your plans, the ancient minister said. Let him be. Every strong general or commander that I take away from their world always underestimate them, and you see what are the results after that. But I have my power bestowed in him. I don't know why, but he can do chaos around his surroundings when he wants to. Right. Now send the next subspace bombs. Tabu teleported away. The ancient minister opened a virtual screen and there were a lot of Mr. G and W inside, inside tubes. Okay. There were a lot of shadow bugs coming from their bodies too. Please, somebody save them. And my people too. I mean, you probably have the authority. You could do something about it, I imagine. Smash Mansion. Command Room. Oh, and with that, Olimar returned to his planet. Chris said, finishing his story to Master Hand. Good job. Everything is still going well. And also, I want to announce something very important to you, Master Hand said. What? From now, from now, when you save the worlds, you will gain a certain amount of coins called Smash Coins. Oh dear. They can be used as money for every kind of shop out there. What? They're like a universal currency? What? <laughs> Even in, the, even in the world of the fucking Metroids, where it's just space and fucking soldiers. You just pay for a... You use a fucking vending machine as smash coins. Sweet! And how much did I got? One thousand. A thousand coins came from the roof, burring Chris below the golden coins. Awesome! You could die from that. He yelled below the coins. Then they disappeared, and a little wallet appeared in Chris's hand. See the wallet? You can store 9,999 coins inside, and it won't look like it has 9,999 coins. Use them well, Master Hand stated. This, this fucking series is probably going to have 9,999 parts, so better get used to that number. Uh, all right, but where can I buy something? Over there, Master Hand pointed... What the fuck? No, go away. This is, this is where the magic happens. This is where I import all the videos. Uh, no, I don't. Leave me alone. Uh, the last song of the ICP album is ironically really good. Uh, sorry. Let me try that again. Is unironically really good. But I don't want to hear it right now. 
I want to read The Subspace Emissary's World's Conquest by Aura Channeler Chris, Chapter 32, Oddness Comes. Thank you very much. Um... Um... Over there, Master Hand pointed to a corner. Crazy Hand was behind a counter, and he was wearing a big red ribbon in his wrist. Come here to Crazy Crazy Wares, he said. What does he sell? Pet asked. Almost everything, from food for traveling to secret jobs, Master Hand said. Secret jobs? Uh, Chris asked. Well, almost all of the jobs are for Lucario. He only has two, and you have five. Good. Hey, wait a second. You're selling us things instead of giving them to us? P2 asked. That's a good point. Um, hey, we need to work for a job. I need to pay for the lights, the water, and everything else in, here in the mansion. Everything is not for free, you know. Who are you? Who, are you, who is he paying it to? Is there like a fucking building contractor in this world? I thought it was just kind of the Smash Mansion and that was... Fuck off! Just, I, I just gotta unplug this. Eh. It's getting annoying. Um... Who are they, who are they, <laughs> do they fucking pay rent? <laughs> who to, God? I don't know. Jesus! Um, let's see. Um, everything is not for free, you know. Chris was shown already buying a job for Lucario for 600 Smash Coins. Dude, that's like, like, almost, that's the majority of the money you just earned. Don't go spending it around too lavishly. Um, thank you, come again, Crazy Hand said happily. What did you bought, Chris? Lucario asked. See for yourself in your menu, Chris simply said. Lucario opened the menu and he saw the new job on his list. PK Pokemon? Well, that's right, well, I think it has the same abilities from the PK Kids job. Try it out. Lucario nodded, and when he touched the label, his clothes disappeared, and nothing else happened afterwards. Oh, that's hot. He looked at his hands, and still nothing happened. Nothing happened! Try using PK Fire, Master Hand said. Lucario focused his power in his hands, and they glowed in a red color. Then he fired a little lightning in front of his hands. And it's his first attack, Roy said. Suddenly, uh, the alarms were activated, and Lucas's icon was getting darker. Lucas is in trouble, Master Hand said. <gasps>